We are indeed looking at some beautiful birds and they are nesting. Now from what I can tell, these are banded martins. And they're nesting in this little riverbed. And we'll just try and get you a better picture of them now. There they are. Look at that. Isn't that magnificent? Let's just, I'll stay at this particular angle or at this particular zoom range and just see that they've been coming in and out of these little holes throughout the course of the morning. And you can see there's it's a bit of breezy out here at the moment. And of course, I mean, that's not the most entertaining picture you've ever looked at, so we'll just zoom out a little bit. But if they come back, we'll zoom back in. And they've been lying there, and they excavate with their beaks, and then they sort of shuffle around and round the hole with their wings. They lie on their sides and kick and uh, sort of flap their wings as much as they can inside there. And eventually, I suppose, they will lay their eggs inside the holes. Um, James, you say, do birds have actual mes nesting seasons here in the Mara? Uh, yes, they absolutely do. I mean, I think you're asking that question because, of course, the climate here tends to be pretty stable. There is actually a season. We're in the really cold season now, although it's not particularly freezing. Uh, it can get very nippy at night. And, of course, we are quite high up, so it does get cold, but absolutely not cold enough for there to be a sort of dormant season. There you can see all the little martins flying around. So these particular martins, uh, just let me try and zoom in quickly, excuse the speed with which this is going to happen. There we go, let's go up a bit. There you go. Now as far as I can work out, that's a banded martin. I've really quite struggled to identify them, but I think that's what we're looking at there. And, for example, James, the sand martin, which looks quite similar to this, is migratory and is here between October and May only. And so, almost like a sort of summer resident in South Africa. There you can see it lying on its side and kicking out. And if anybody wants to contradict me on the identification of this bird, I'd be more than happy to take the criticism. The problem with my identification is that it doesn't have a distinctive a sort of white eye stripe which I think is a bit strange but I'm wondering if that isn't just simply because either it's a young bird or because I'm looking at you know the the detail isn't quite uh, as good as it might be but it looks like a banded martin to me I can't see well you know I'm looking at pictures of them now and they don't look exactly the same as that I must say anyway could be a rock martin, I suppose. Michael, you want to know if there are more birds in the Mara or in Kruger? Well, the Mara is about 370,000 acres, which translates to about 15 or 150,000 hectares. And the total bird list here is between 450 and 500 birds. Now, in the Greater Kruger Park, uh, that list incre increases to about 900. So there are about 900 different species that you find in the Kruger Park. So, yeah, I mean, I guess the Kruger is, is, the Kruger is a more diverse habitat. I suppose this could also be a brown-throated martin, you know. Uh, let me just check if they occur here. Isn't that special? I think that's just rather wonderful. There we go, we'll zoom out. Now let's just see if there's anything else going on at this particular crossing. Perhaps a great teeming herd of wildebeest has moved majestically 